What's up ladies and gentlemen, Dennis from Botster here and in this really really short video I'm going to tell you how to programmatically find links to companies LinkedIn profiles using nothing but keywords and links to their official websites. Before I go on, please like this video to support the channel and if you're into automation and data extraction, make sure to follow our channel and subscribe to it right now. Okay, now back to the bot. To use it, you will need to sign up for Botster and next you can go ahead and click on this tools for LinkedIn category button, scroll down and as you can see we have plenty of LinkedIn bots which you can play around with but in this video I'm going to talk about this little fella called LinkedIn Company Finder. Now it doesn't have a lot of description on its page because it's really straightforward and easy to use. Now let's click the start bot button, provide some kind of uh, name for our job, for our process. Let's call it company lookup demo. Scroll further down and uh, what you have to do now is just provide a list of brand names or links to official websites of these companies you're looking to extract LinkedIn links to. So you can see we have tesla.com as a suggestion. So let's, why not, let's follow that. Tesla.com, we can also go with Apple, SEM Rush. I'm just making this up as I go. And maybe um, Amazon. Now, of course, the larger the company, the bigger the probability of the bot finding the proper link to its LinkedIn page. So if you're trying to look up smaller companies, the bot might have troubles if the company is really tiny. However, the success rate is pretty high nonetheless. Next, you can select whether you would like to receive a notification once the bot completes the job. So you can go with email, Slack, Telegram. You can send yourself a JSON post request if you're using some kind of complex integration. And of course, you can connect to Zapier and do something with that data later. Maybe fill your CRM with appropriate contact data or something like that. Now I'm not going to select any of that. I'm just going to click on this huge green button and start the process. Now you can see that the job is now active and all we have to do is wait for the bot to complete it. While we are waiting, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to the channel. And okay, we're done. You can see that the job is now completed. You can now click the view data button to review the information that the bot extracted. Okay, the links are in and you can see that the bot found all of them successfully. Of course, it's not that impressive when you're looking up uh, links to four companies, but when it's several hundred, believe me, it's worth it. If the bot cannot find the URL, it's going to tell you nothing found and you will get refunded for that particular um, row. So you don't lose anything really. But if that happens, one thing I do recommend and it does work is taking a list of these those companies that the bot couldn't find uh, on the first try and starting another process doing it again because on the second try, the bot usually finds proper links. If it doesn't happen, you get refunded anyway, so it's not that terrible. Now you can download the data by clicking on one of these buttons right here. So we have CSV, Excel, JSON available. You can open this data in your Google Sheets by clicking this button and of course you can send this page to your colleague by making it public. Click this green link over here, copy the URL and off you go. Well, this is it. I promised you this video is going to be short and sweet. Make sure to give it a like, subscribe to our channel, and I hope to see you in the comment section and in the next videos.